can't be afraid to, to lose. You know, you got to to go out there and make plays to win. You can't be afraid to lose. And you know, I was confident in the throw. I, you know, I thought that we gave our chance to, a guy to um, to win and extend the game and, and ultimately run out the clock there. But um, you know, it's unfortunate now, and, and we sit here now, um, you know, one and one. So uh, we need to make the necessary corrections, like I said, all week, and, and just get ready for TCU. Do you feel like the passing game's a little out of sync still, or do you think? Yeah, we're not. We're not we're not uh, playing to our potential right now, and, and that's very evident. Um, you know, we need to fix this quickly, and um, you know, I think that all parties involved are, will, will work to make sure that that's right. Thanks. Yep, no problem. The offense seemed to sputter a bit, you know, throughout the fourth quarter. Why do you think that was? Why do you think you guys couldn't get going? Uh, you know, we'll have to evaluate that on film. Yeah. You know, it's a, I, I can't really attribute that to one thing, but um, you know, we'll have to watch on film and, and, and see the corrections that we can make and um, you know move forward to, to next week and, and making sure that we're not making the same mistakes. Was there any kind of feeling there toward the end of that disappointment creeping back? I know you weren't here last year, but it's got to be fresh in a lot of these guys' minds. No, I, I think guys are, are, are trying to you know do everything they can to win. And, you know, um, we didn't give ourselves to, a, a chance to win on offense. That's all I can speak for. Um, and, and we just didn't make enough plays. Uh, it, it's as simple as that. Um, you know, we need to make more plays on offense, and, and that's something that I'm sure will uh, be the emphasis all week in practice. Thank you. Yep. Dean, there's been a lot of talk about third down conversions, but in your mind, is that a bigger issue or maybe some of the negative plays on first and second down that put you in some third and longs? Well, I think they, they go hand in hand. Um, you know, you keep yourself out of third down by being effective on, on first and second down. So, um, you know, the three are all kind of married together, um, but at the same time, you know, third down's got to, there's got to be an additional sense of urgency. We've got to know that we've got to be ready to convert. And, um, you know, we've got a lot of work to do. But at the same time, you know, I think everyone is, um, will come back this week and, and respond well. And, and we're excited to see, uh, you know, what we can do next week. You guys come right out of the locker room and start the third quarter, go down on that nice long drive to score a touchdown. How good were you feeling about things at that point? Well, you know, I mean, there's, there's peaks and valleys within every game. But at, at that point in time, um, you know, we were very excited. And, and, you know, it was a big, big drive for us. And, but at the same time, we didn't finish. So, um, you know, we need more of those drives, more of those plays. And, um, you know, that's that's the difference between winning and losing. As one of the leaders on this team, what do you do? What do you say to the team? How do you get them picked up, back up off the mat to get ready for the conference opener next week? I mean, just understanding how important each game is. You know, each game's its own entity. You know, we're not looking like the season is lost because we, we lost a game. But at the same time, you know, we need to quickly correct the things that, um, you know, quickly correct the mistakes that were made today and um, do everything in our power to be better next week. We gotta improve every week. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> you don't love this game because we kind of—I feel like we really let one slip out of our hands. A game that <clears throat> you know we had opportunities to finish, multiple opportunities to finish. I won't—I won't point fingers at anybody because we can all take blame in that because there were opportunities all game to finish it. It's a—it's a frustrating loss, but we can't let it linger for too long. We've got a tough opponent coming in next week, and you know we gotta be able to move on and prepare for that. What was it like? Uh, Quarterback looked like you know he was pretty pretty good. You know, could throw it, could run it. I mean, what was it like facing him on, on defense? And that's the type of quarterback that you know we're going to continue to see on a weekly basis. So uh, I think just seeing that this week will help us prepare for the rest of the season and the rest of the conference. Thanks, sir. Yep. In practice, do you simulate much? You know, uh, being up two, but a chance for a team to come back. Yeah. Uh, we practiced multiple situations. Like I said, um, we had opportunities to close the game and. You know, they made the plays that we didn't, so you got to give credit to them for doing that. But I think it's one that we let slip, slip away. So the coach said his post-game speech wasn't what you would expect. What, what did he tell you? What was he most concerned about? Just the fact that we've been, we've been through situations like this before in the past. And uh, the biggest test for us is to see how we respond to this. Um, in, the, in the past, we kind of let it uh, hold us down for too long, and we ended up having really negative seasons because of that. But we've got to be able to bounce back and get back on the on the right path. Did you see signs of that yet? I know it's still just right after the game, but is it a different locker room after a game after a loss now than it, than it has been? No, guys are going to be frustrated with the with the game, especially a game like that where we really feel like we should have won the game. Uh, in the third quarter, we feel like it's something we could have put away. So, guys are going to be frustrated. Uh, give it a while, but you know, like I said, we got to be able to uh, let it go after a little bit and prepare for this next team we got coming up. Kind of fell off a little bit in the fourth quarter. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I definitely sensed uh, what everyone else sensed. Uh, a lot of guys uh, just lax, took a breath, and just. I mean, we definitely didn't have the same intensity that we had coming out with. I mean, we had 
two, three and outs. We get them in the red zone. I, we get a, a field goal and an interception. So, I mean, we definitely came out fired up. We're just going to have to learn how to finish. That was our problem last year. And then uh, that was a problem last week and this week here. And then, uh, unfortunately, we, we couldn't uh, hold them off long enough to win the game. And so we're just going to have to focus on finishing. I'm assuming that was, you know, would be a problem heading forward. But, I mean, is overconfidence kind of an issue? I mean, after you know, being, in, being in control of those first three quarters, I mean, does that kind of play a role in that? Yeah, I mean, because that, that, that gives people the ability to, to take a breath and be like, we got this. I don't have to work as hard as I was doing. I don't have to do all the things that it took for us to get the lead. And once you still start doing small things like that, the other team isn't going to stop because their mentality is they're down. They have to get the ball in the end zone. And slowly but surely, that's what they start doing when people take a break. Do you feel like the change of the defense, <clears throat> the change of offense that you were facing, had anything to do with it? I mean, how do you feel you handled that? Um, I mean, the offensive change of running style wasn't too much of a difference. I mean, early in the game, we handled it well. Uh, offense was slow to get points on the board. It's not their fault at all. The second half, uh, same thing. Uh, we, I feel like we handled it well in the third quarter. And in the fourth quarter, uh, guys just took, a, just took a step back on defense. And, we, and uh, me and myself as a, and the rest of our defensive leaders, we have to step up and make sure the guys are still just as mentally focused as they were to begin the game. You just kind of just get in people's ear. Just let them know the game's not over. Just keep your confidence. Keep doing what got you to lead. Whatever your, your job is supposed to it's, it's very simple. Whatever your job is supposed to do, do it to the best of your ability. If you're supposed to go down and make a tackle, then you go down and make a tackle. If you're supposed to cover a receiver, then you cover that man. And you do it for four quarters.